Hello YouTube, it's Everything Epan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Linux Mint version 17.3, codenamed Rosa, in VirtualBox or VMware. So this is another Linux video in which I've only done Ubuntu. That's the only Linux-based video I've done. So I'm going to try and do another one because I'm running out of Windows ideas and um, I've been trying to get the Mac OS X videos to work but I haven't gotten the ISOs to work quite yet. So I'm going to do a Linux video since I have a ton of Linux ISOs to use. So, and you can find the Linux Mint that will be in the description. You'll go to, you'll get to this page and also links are in the description for VirtualBox and there is actually a new version out that I do not have and VMware is in the description as well so the Linux Mint ISO link you'll get to their Linux Mint download page this is completely free Linux is absolutely free nothing wrong with that because Linux is just a free um, OS I recommend um, trying out Linux it's and it's actually better than you think and I mean you could even put it on your actual computer like if you have an old crappy computer you could put Linux on that thing and it'd run just fine so you got Linux Mint here um, 17.3 Rosa and you can do any of the additions from cinnamon to mate to KDE to even XFCE and I have no idea what that one is but normally I just do cinnamon so you can do either 32 or 64 bit or just 64 bit on the uh, OEM editions so we're going to select 64 bit cinnamon and then you're going to get a ton of servers if you're in the United States you go to Northern America North America uh, there's also for Australia uh, New Zealand Brazil Ecuador lots of other secondary mirrors and there's also Germany France all those all those countries if you're in a different location so normally for U US uh, people I do Linux freedom uh, for the server you could try any one of the other ones but I do Linux freedom and uh, you'd click on it and it would start downloading right down at the bottom here and it could depend on how long it really depends on how fast your um, internet speed is depending on how long this would download as you can see the time's still going down but I've already got this downloaded but for me it'd take about probably five minutes maybe less to download it because it's already at 100 megs but you can't I'm gonna cancel that since I already have it but you just wait till that's finished downloading and then you're gonna open up either VirtualBox or VMware and I'm gonna use VirtualBox for this one you're gonna create the new machine calling it Linux Mint 17.3 and Ubuntu is selected I'm gonna leave it at Ubuntu you could do other Linux 64-bit uh, but they don't have a uh, specific thing for Linux Mint so I'm gonna leave it at Ubuntu and hit next and I'm gonna bump up my RAM to a gig and now for the hard drive you have to have at least 10 gigs um, because it says it requires 9.4 gigs of storage so I'd recommend having 10 gigs or above so I'm gonna do 15 gigs just to be on the safe side here and we're gonna create the machine and then go to settings and the storage to the little empty disk and uh, there's the Linux Mint it's right there for me since that's the most recent one I've used but you would go to choose and then you'd go and find wherever it's located if it's in your downloads folder or if you moved it to a different location mine's right here so you'd open that and you'd hit OK and then you start up the machine and lots of the drivers should be installed already because Linux is just a it's a light based operating system kind of deal here and you can let the automatic boot go or you can just do uh, you can just uh, hit a key and then start it up but if you get a ton of errors like what you're seeing here um, it'll have this little loading screen and then an error will pop up in a little bit here but if you're getting a ton of errors during the loading of the Linux Mint OS uh, you just disregard those because those don't mean anything and then you should hopefully get Linux Mint in full screen mode should be for me it was in full screen the first time I tried this and the audio works as well as you just heard and there you go look at that Linux Mint you've already got it running 
and you could use it without even installing it on your machine or if you want to try it on your computer you can burn it to a flash drive or copy the ISO to a flash drive and you can just run this you don't even have to install it you can run Linux Mint on your computer without even uh, wiping out your hard drive or anything but for users that say oh hey I want to give this a try like if I'm actually running a computer and not just running it off a flash drive you can install it as you can see up here to the install Linux Mint CD icon here you double click on that and Linux is really fast uh, it's well not really fast but it can be fast but Linux Mint is not bad it's I think personally it's underrated so you go to you uh, the install and then it'll say welcome and it says you may wish to read the release notes um, you're on the language settings here so you can select your language all the way from A to um, the Chinese and Japanese and the Korean languages but mine's English and we're going to continue on that and see this is where you need both check marks you don't have to have this check mark but you need this check mark it has to have at least 9.4 gigs of available drive space and I have 15 so you can continue that would be grayed out if you didn't have that now this is uh, some options you can do you can erase the disk and install Linux Mint as just one whole operating system or if you have multiple partitions you can click on something else hit continue and you can look at all the partitions you can you have and you can use Linux Mint as a partition like if you want to install it alongside Windows or something you could use Linux Mint as a partition without even hurting your Windows install so but I'm not gonna do that since I don't have any others on here you can also encrypt the uh, installation for security uh, you can also do the um, logical volume management but I'm just gonna leave those unchecked and we're gonna just go ahead and hit install now and it'll just confirm your uh, disk selections here so just hit continue if those are correct and then it will ask you I believe for your time zone and it already has mine selected in the central time zone so we'll go ahead and hit continue and it's gonna ask for your keyboard layout and your input languages you can test it out saying hey YouTube it's everything even it should have been capitalized but that's alright so you can hit continue after you've selected those and then you gotta pick a name so we're gonna do everything EPAN and we're just gonna do username um, we're just gonna I don't think you have to have it yeah you do have to have password so let me type one in here quick and it says short it will say either medium or long like if you keep doing like uh, it'll say fair or it'll say strong like that basically so you can make it as long as you want but I'm just gonna make mine short and then this can take this will take a little bit of time to install uh, I could take a range from 5 10 maybe even 20 minutes just kind of depends on your computer speeds and everything so you just gotta let it sit and um, you don't want to skip this step if possible like if you're able to don't skip the copying file step but you're just gonna let it sit and uh, I'll be back with you guys once the um, install is either hitting a restart point or if it's getting to a point where I can continue but I actually missed it uh, I believe it took about between five to ten minutes uh, but it'll say installation complete let's say installation is finished you can continue testing Linux Mint or you can restart your computer uh, to get the actual installation down and that's what I'm gonna do but if you restart and if you're like doing something on it that you didn't save or something it'll go away but it won't matter for me so restart now and this shouldn't take too long you can uh, while this is restarting when it gets to the point where it's out you can actually take out the uh, ISO. So I was going to say, where the heck is my mouse? Get it out of full screen mode because it's restarting. So you can, yeah, I already took out the ISO. So just reset the machine, I guess, if it's doing this, but it should. Yep. It'll come up with hopefully a loading screen. There we go. Linux Mint loading screen. 
which should not take too long. And you'll go through some more, uh, more of the setup during this. See the little loading circle. And it should load up. Yep, it'll give you, it'll ask you for the login. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. Oh, I have to enter my username. I was trying to type in the everything email. I typed in email instead. There we go. And then, oh, I guess it's incorrect. What in the world? Maybe you have to do lowercase. There we go. So, it should take you to your desktop once that finishes. And the audio works. And there you go. It'll say, welcome and thank you for choosing Linux Mint. We hope you'll enjoy using it as much as we designed it. The links below will help you get started with your new operating system. Have a great time and don't hesitate to send us your feedback. So that is success right there. We've just installed Linux Mint. You can basically use it as a normal computer. And uh, the built-in browser they give you is Firefox. So um, you can always like open that up just to check to see if the uh, internet works. If you do the plus, you see there's the little Linux Mint uh, start screen for it. So you can go to YouTube.com and it should work. There you go, YouTube. And we can type in everything ePan. And there's the channel, there's videos, all that good stuff. And that is... Um, that's the Linux Mint installation. Internet works, audio works, uh, graphics are full screen. So that is, that's great. So that's the video tutorial on how to install Linux Mint 17.3 Rosa in VirtualBox or VMware. Thank you guys for watching. This, uh, this is my, uh, one of my least uh, viewed, not viewed, but like I haven't done this kind of videos in a long time. But uh, comment below more ideas. I've gotten a lot of ideas, but just keep hitting them at me. Uh, and I'll try to get to them. Uh, like the video if you thought this helped you out. Share it to see uh, it can help out other people who's trying to get this to work and everything. And you can also um, also subscribe for more videos. We are nearing 1,000 subscribers. I said that in the last video. We're inching closer and closer, and um, we're just becoming bigger as a group, and it's insane. So I uh, thank you guys for that. So. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.